Hello everyone and welcome to the news from Shirok TV. In our main headlines tonight, Hamdok to present Sudan communique before the UN General Assembly. Burhan meets with the Ambassador of France on current situations. Sultanate of Oman dispatches humanitarian aid to Sudan. Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok will present Sudan communique before the UN General Assembly. Virtual deliberations is scheduled for tomorrow. Sudan communique is due on the 26th of September 2020. A reliable source from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs says in a press statement. The 75 is due virtually for the first time in the organization's history for the international precautions prompted by Corona pandemic. Coincides the General Assembly 75th anniversary, the session comprises high-level ministerial meetings covering sustainable development, biodiversity and nuclear weapons control. The Prime Minister will be accompanied by a high-ranking delegation. President of the Sovereign Council, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, met at the Republican Palace with the Ambassador of France to Khartoum, Emmanuel Blatman. The ambassador said in a press release she offered her government's condolences on victims of floods that hit vast parts across Sudan. She confirmed her country's resolve to provide emergency humanitarian aid to the catastrophe-affected people. As she congratulated al-Burhan on peace deal signed in Juba recently between the government and the armed movements. A draft bill for educational institutions and scientific research accreditation for 2020 was endorsed today. Filed by Higher Education Minister Professor Intisar Sagirun, the draft bill aims to improve the said institutions in quality. Application of comprehensive quality and informational criteria is targeted as well. This was spelled out in a joint meeting presided over by the Cabinet Affairs Minister Omar Manis. In the same respect, a draft bill to organize performance at higher education, ensuring its independence to achieve sustainable development, was endorsed. A slight rise in the River Nile level was recorded, while high levels at other tributaries such as Adbara continued in dwindling. Torrential rain and floods have killed dozens of people, leaving more than 100,000 in need of shelter after having lost their homes, according to the official state news agency Suna. The country has been battered by heavy rains since early July, affecting almost 200,000 people across the country. Flooding and high winds caused disruption to north and northeast travel network. 600,000 acres were affected, according to the irrigation minister. The inflation rate mounted at 166.83% during August 2020, compared to 143.78% in July. The Central Statistics Authority attributed the rise to contribution by flood stuff such as beverage, legumes, vegetables and sugar. Meanwhile, travel prices nationwide were upped. The figures were revealed in a statement by the authority pointing out a decrease in housing and costumes rates. Two aircraft with humanitarian aid flied by sisterly state of Oman arrived in Khartoum airport. Received by Minister of Health, the designate Osama Muhammad and Sultanate of uh, Oman's Ambassador Ali Sulman, the relief embodies profound relations between both countries. Minister of Labor Lina Sheikh appreciated the aid offered by the Sultanate. Speaking to reporters, the ambassador said the aid is response to humanitarian call in Sudan to curb the crisis. And now we remind you with the headlines. Hamdok to present Sudan communique before the UN General Assembly. Burhan meets with the Ambassador of France on current situations. Sultanate of Oman dispatches humanitarian aid to Sudan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.